My name is Wesley Salmon from New York, Bronx, New York. A member of Overcomers Tabernacle. My past history, which number one, I've had a heart transplant 10 years now. It's been working pretty good. I do kidney dialysis six years now. With the peritoneal, which there's a tube on my side and I have a machine at home that I hooked up to every night for 10 hours to dialyze my system because the kidney fails. They said uh, few of my valves have collapsed and I have to do the transplant, which I waited two months to get it, which I did. And the, after that, now the, the medication for the heart messed my kidney up. And I have had prostate cancer two years. And four months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer in the blood. Multiple myeloma, they call that. Oh, man. And I'm doing chemo twice a week, every Tuesdays and Fridays. I should have my last two, four sessions this month here. And hopefully everything will be all right. Well, the good Lord is carrying me through. That's all I can well, I can just give him credit for that. You know, I can. Uh, I, you know, I just don't know how, but he's been doing wonderful things for me in my life. I got baptized uh, eight months ago. Pastor Brown is my pastor. Um, over the years, uh, you know, my family members and friends who's always encouraged me. That's about time for me to give the Lord my, you know, everything because what I'm going through, you know, I shouldn't wait so long, but I always say when you're called, you know, you can just, some people go to church for different reasons. And, you know, I waited until the Bible was there and I got a feel that, you know, I think it's about time now for me to really accept him. So that day when I did accept, when I got baptized, which was really funny, because that night I had vomited some stuff. I don't know what it is. It was just black stuff. The same night after being baptized, and most of my friends said that's what the Lord was waiting to cleanse it. And since then, you know, my life has been different completely. I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't know. It wasn't that I'm scared of death. I, I said, if I die tomorrow, my soul would be going to hell or whatever. It wasn't. It wasn't like that. You know, I always say, you know, I know when, I, when I'm called. Because the things that I used to do, I don't do it no more. So, you know, I just decided to put away the things that I used to be in the world. You're doing and accept them fully. And I've been doing great. That medication cost me over $3,000 every month. Oh, my. Just medication alone, the hospital and doctor's fee. Yeah. Well, God bless insurance, because without insurance, I maybe wouldn't be here today. Full, full, fully covered. Do you know the person who gave you the, that you got the heart from no, the new? No, I just know the age different, which was what? about four years different from my heart. Do you know how he died? Or she? I heard he died. Uh, very good question. I did the question with he or she. Okay. I just know that he, I think the person died in an accident. I can't say so. That person yeah, actually yeah. gave life to gave you. life to me. You never met the family? Or? No. You know, you were, well, we're not supposed to. You can if you really want to. But I try not to. Because that person whose heart I got is living, he's living in me and I know it's a very good heart. So he had to be a good person too. Because like when I did, the day after they woke me up and they did my EKG and my echocardiogram, they mm -hmm. said this is the best one they have ever seen. So I know the heart has been very, very good and I have no problem with that. Just take my medication and I'm good to go. Oh, boy. My pastor, he trust me to drive his car. Well.